Amazing. I've seen that, man. What the fuck is that? MJ, what are you doing to me, bro? How's it going? Welcome everyone to Serene Escape. My name is Cam and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you episode 8 of our phobia series. Automatonophobia, I believe it's called. Auto Hold on, let me just... Automatonophobia. And again, automatonophobia. Automatonophobia. Automatonophobia, guys. Let's go. Oh, I forgot the zoom. Hold on, I forgot the zoom. Automatonophobia. It's not zooming out. Wow, what is going on? <laughs> Thank you so much for the support so far on our Phobia series, guys. If you haven't seen the last episode, we did Nyctophobia, mate. Nyctophobia, the fear of the dark. I'll leave an annotation for that above on the screen for you guys to go click on. And uh, yeah, can't wait to jump into today's video, guys. So let's just come up with the pronunciation for that one. The definition of automatonophobia is the fear of human-like figures such as mannequins, wax figures, statues, dummies, uh, animatronics, uh, or robots. It's a specific phobia or fear of something that causes significant and excessive stress and anxiety that can negatively affect a person's quality of life. Now, that was a mouthful, but basically, what you need to think about, right, okay, here we go. Let's go bring it back. Okay, so if you're a 90s babe like me, then you probably have a fear of uh, dummies. My all-time favourite episodes and the scariest episodes of that series was uh, Night of the Living Dummy. And um, that was featuring a dummy called Slappy, I believe it was, the evil dummy. I don't know if you guys remember it. Hold on, let me bring it up. The pictures of him, yeah. He used to creep me out as a kid, man. And those are the books that obviously all the stories are based off in that. If you guys ever watch that, then please do comment down below, all of the OGs. Um, yeah, man, that used, to, that used to creep me out uh, a lot. So, yeah, I sort of have a fear of puppets um, from, like, a kid and stuff like that. And uh, I know a lot of, like, older films use animatronics and, like, puppets to um, obviously create the creatures and beasts, whatever they're doing in the films, um, rather than just CGI, which is obviously today. And uh, it added, like, a practical factor to it and made you feel like those creatures that they were trying to create or whatever it was that they were doing in the film was actually there, right? Instead of looking at CGI uh, models and, like, you know, designs. Okay, so I think there is going to be some childhood trauma involved within this video today, guys. So today, the video that we're going to be reacting to is called Automatonophobia with Minecraft Dis 13. That's obviously Minecraft music, so we're going to have to turn it right down for copyright issues. So let's go ahead and like the video, guys. I'll leave it all linked down below in the description. And this is brought from a channel called, uh, what is that, Necro, Necro Glitz? Um, yeah, by the looks of it. The channel will be linked down below in the description, guys. Definitely go check them out. Best of luck to you. If you can make it through the entire video, please do let me know. Um, it's only 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Let me know how long you get on. And uh, let's do it, man. I'm nervous. Let's go. There you go. There's another definition for you if you missed that last part that I just mentioned. That's horrible. It's the teeth. The teeth. If the eyes are looking straight towards, then, yeah. What is that? No way, that's not a robot. That's a guy wearing a mask. Surely. Surely, right? Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen it, but like, have you seen Sophia? The android that they've created that's got like a personality now? Like, with the robots taking over? That's creepy, man, if you ever watch a video of that. Let me know if you want me to react to that. But like, that'll be crazy, man. What is that? Five Nights at Freddy's going on right there? Oh, was that the actual set um shark that they use for Jaws? Amazing. I've seen that, man. What the fuck is that? MJ, what are you doing to me, bro? That's horrible. Oh, that threw me right off and I had shivers, man. That's not too bad. Is that a puppet or is that a painting? No, it's practical, isn't it? Oh, man, that threw me off then, the MJ. What was that all about? That's not so bad. Like a lip extends or something though. Oh, here we go. Slappy. That was the other dummy. I can't remember its name. Chucky. Of course Chucky's gonna be featured. Have you guys ever seen Chucky? No? A classic. Really good like prosthetics there. The doll. It's great, man. They got like the facial features. What the hell is that, man? Can you imagine seeing all of these dolls lined up in your room? Oh, I've seen that before. It's a Halloween thing on Facebook. That's crazy, that is. That is like a, yeah, look at that, man. It's absolutely terrifying. 
And uh, obviously, it was when the first it came out, the remake. And uh, just look at it, man. Look at the arm. Look at that. It's just crazy. So crazy seeing that. Yeah, that's uh, it's mental, isn't it? Because most of these like puppets are like hollow, aren't they? Inside. That's just with the face taken off it. It's mad. Oh, look at that. That's so weird. That is so weird. What is that? A gorilla in a suit? <laughs> Harambe, how you doing, bro? What's it called? Singing Sam? Gorilla Man? Oh, there you go, yeah. Just read the back of, background of it. I mean, for a second, it can throw you off, can't it? It's like, you know, if you look at that for a second. Oh, that's horrible, man. Is he going to follow? The eyes follow you now. That is creepy. Carnivals are like the typical place for the, these sort of things, aren't they? Yeah, I just got to end it off with there, that puppet. Disgusting. I don't see the appeal like with ventriloquists as well. I don't know how you can be so close to those puppets and just be absolutely calm with it as well. Disgusting, man. So that was the video, guys. It was a bit of a shorter one, as you can see there. I definitely prefer the uh, video clips over images. I feel like they have a better like impact on the viewer watching. And um, you get a different perspectives as well from all the different clips and stuff. If there's anything related to this that you want me to uh, react to, like any sort of like scary moments in like a film and that, like, literally link down below and I can react to that. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, it's just dolls and dummies, mannequins, anything like that, man. It's so, so creepy. Okay, so that was the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Did you make it all the way for the video? Hmm? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a little like onto the video and subscribe to the channel for some more reaction type content, guys. Uh, sorry it was a little bit shorter than usual, but uh, definitely, definitely got some more content coming up on the way, uh, especially with the Phobia series. I won't give too much away at the moment. So um, yeah, I'm just saying there's some good stuff coming to the Phobia series. So I look forward to having you along on the journey with me through the series, of course. And uh, yeah, with that being said, have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone. See you later. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.